So here I have um, an already painted uh, rock. I've just base coated it in black. The reason why is because I'm, I'm using glitter watercolors right now and glitter watercolors pop out much more in a dark background I find. So I'm just gonna use some gold glitter paint on here and this will eventually be a celebration rock. I'm gonna be drawing some balloons on it and um, the glitter watercolor background gives it gives it makes actually makes it a special rock. So now I'm gonna go with a little bit of blue sparkling watercolors. I actually love these watercolors. Um, they make any rock, any piece of work that you're doing look really special. Um, and this particular set doesn't belong to any brand. In fact, um, it's just from a small local business. I try to find find and buy things from small businesses. Um, for example, I'm pretty sure this set I got was actually from Etsy. But uh, yeah, you can pretty much get a hold of these anywhere now. I think a lot of people have started to make these paints at home as well. And I don't think it's difficult. There's quite a few tutorials even on YouTube on how to make your own glitter watercolours. So now I'm going to go on with a kind of a terracotta watercolour. Um, As I'm going along, I'm adding a little bit of water to the watercolours. You'll not see on a video because actually I'm sitting right next to a sink. So when I need to clean my brush in between the colours, I'm actually doing it right next to my sink. Ah, let me go a bit closer, look. This rock is, as you can see, is not so smooth at all. Um, in here in UK, Picking up stones from a beach is apparently illegal, so whatever rocks I have, normally I just buy. Oh, they're gifted. I know in the US it's pretty um, widely available, different types of rocks. Um, and it's permissible as well, but here in the UK apparently it's not permissible to be pinching rocks from the beach. So I don't have much of a variety right now. Currently at home I have my pebble slices, which you may have seen on my previous video. And I have some Santorini rocks. Santorini rocks, again, are very difficult to get a hold of in the UK, but I've imported some over. And I do sell them to some of my customers via my Facebook page. And I do have some in my Etsy shop as well. And I do have a few beach stones, which my sister got me from Scotland. So I do have a little bit of stock. So, just going to continue with the glittery watercolours on this rock and I'm just going in with some green. Just going on circular circles. I mean, it doesn't have to be a circle. You can go in, in stripes if you want. The end result, I think, with glitter watercolours, all this looks nice. I think you can't really go wrong with them and they're very easy to blend as well. There we go. Love using these. Then finally, I'm going to go back to the gold and finish the rest of the rock off. There we go, almost done. And if you've got any little gaps, just go over them. But to be honest, even small little gaps, it doesn't really matter because you can be drawing over the rock. I've done many rocks like this where the background is like this, but the draw what I end up drawing either flowers, balloons, dragonflies. 
So here we go. That's how it looks when it's not resined. And I'm going to let this dry and I'm going to resin it. So here it is resined. As you can see, you can see it shining. And the lighting again in the UK is not great because the weather is very dull. So this is the best I can do with the camera right now. And now I'm just going to take a gold Posca pen and draw a couple of balloons on here. This actually sparkles really nicely in light. So, here we go. I'm just fiddling with my camera, just trying to get a hang of it. So bear with me. Here's uh, balloon one. You can put in, just depending on the size of your rock, you can put in as many balloons as you like. And this is a nice celebratory rock. You can gift it to someone for a birthday, anniversary, graduation. Um, it's a nice sentimental piece. It can be, it's like a forever gift. It's never going to go bad. It's never going to break. Mm, so it's a very good gift. So there's my balloons. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to get some... UV nail gel, any brand, doesn't matter what you have, just whatever you have at home. Um, and I'm going to put a coat of this on each balloon. Just to say, I resin using UV resin. UV resin is quick and easy and it cures under a UV lamp. I tend not to use a two-part resin because one, I'm impatient and two, it's, I find it messy. So the UV resin is what the baroque is sealed in. So now I'm just using a little dotting tool just to get to the, in the corners of the balloon. And then I'm going to do the same with the second balloon. And then after this, I'm just going to cure it under a nail lamp for about 90 seconds. And then we're going to add some chrome powder on the balloons. It can be a bit fiddly, but I think the end result is really worth it. I've done balloons in the past on a rock um, and it turned out really good. Actually, the... It turned out a lot better because the rock was really smooth and it's slightly bigger than this one. So here we go, just get them into all the parts. It's difficult to see in my light, but you know, try and cover it as best as possible. been cured for 90 seconds under UV lamp. Now I'm gonna, cho I've chosen two, two colors, a violet blue color and a pink color for each of the balloons. So I'm just gonna get my applicator. It's like an eyeshadow applicator and just apply the chrome powder onto the balloon. Chrome powders, again, widely available um, from Amazon. Um, any nail any place where you get nail care, manicures, um, nail art, that type of stuff. So it's widely available. And look how nicely it goes on to the gel. There you go. So, and now we're going to touch it up a little bit. And then we're going to go in with the second balloon and use the pink. Yeah, this type of um, rock kind of gives you a slight texture, a 3D effect. The balloons are slightly raised compared to the rest of the rock because of the nail gel and the chrome powder. So I would call it a nice textured rock. If you watch my YouTube shorts, you'll see um, some of my rocks have been um, chromed. 
as it's a kind of a 3D effect. I would love to know where you guys are all watching from, actually. Um, if you can comment below, but it'd be nice to know where everybody's watching this from. I'm actually in the northeast of UK. It's very cold here. So there you go. That's now complete. Close up. And that's it, resined fully again.